Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. We look at shields, dust, lace, service, peasants, vassals, meat sacks. I'm useful idiot. Welcome, and let's go back to uh, the good old USA and talk about uh, the police. And uh, as it turns out, uh, this is a great story to do now because it, it ties into this whole idea about uh, creating mythologies in order to perpetrate a certain agenda. And of course, one of them is uh, this this nation rampant with violence. And so we not only need police, but we need police that are uh, uh, brutal. We need police that are heavily armed and militarized, and we need a lot of them. And uh, as it turns out, uh, if you go to 2013, as I brought up in a previous video, uh, there was 4.5 deaths per 100,000 in the United States, and uh, the murder rate by ratio uh, is the lowest rate since 1957. So as far as uh, the crime that needs to be uh, addressed out there, um, there, there is no super uh, increase in crime, even though 70% of Americans perceive that there is this uh, vast wave of new crime and uh, so I've dissected some of these uh, figures including the one about 355 mass shootings when it turns out the government acknowledges about 25 that actually qualify as mass shootings or the rest are just uh, uh, gun battles that ended up in involving uh, numerous people including children with BB guns but uh, let's get back to the, these figures for uh, the police specifically because there, there's this talk about a war on police and uh, that's a, uh, a, a mythology being created uh, like I say to perpetrate a certain agenda one is gun control and one is the the, uh, the impunity of the police and the, the militarization of the police and um, we have 2015 going down as perhaps the uh, safest year in US history for United States police and, uh, and in fact Historically, and that's why I always like to do things in historical context, to, it reveals a lot more about uh, uh, the nature of reality than a lot of people seem to suspect. So if you go back to uh, the period of 1875 through the 1930s, uh, it was ex exponentially worse for police. And in fact, during the uh, 20s, well, it was the highest point of uh, police, police deaths. And uh, not surprisingly, uh, during uh, Prohibition, um, and, and, uh, and just that whole period of... Uh, of uh, uh, lawlessness, shall we say? But uh, and then there's another spike in, in the 1960s and 1970s, and we know that uh, crime rates were, were spiking. Then there's a lot of uh, social unrest in general, and, and there's a lot of uh, 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 jump in drug trade. So that also involved a lot of uh, police deaths. So so we have this period from 1875 to 1930s, and then the 1960s and 1970s, which were far deadlier uh, for police. Uh, and if you look back at this uh, last year, 2015, there was uh, 38 deaths of, of cops in, in the line of duty. Actually, one was a suicide. One was shot by another cop, so it drops down to about 36. Um, but uh, that, that hardly seems like a war on cops. And I know, once again, there's a whole high profile of, uh, of uh, uh, police uh, violence against police out there, but uh, we don't want to overemphasize it. And, and I... I acknowledge uh, to, to my friends like uh, John Barleycorn that uh, there's also a tendency to, to uh, amplify the, the transgressions of the police. And I'm aware of that, but uh, when you look at the, the numbers, 38 uh, cops killed in 2015, but 1,100 citizens. And uh, so that shows that uh, uh, there's, there's not necessarily a war on citizens, and there's not necessarily a war on cops, but what there is uh, apparently is a war between uh, blacks and cops. So that's that's what I think these numbers uh, show. And um, and uh, law enforcement leaders uh, want to reduce crime and, and incarceration. And 150 leaders uh, got together from this group, and they said that the crime rate in the U.S. has it is at an all-time low, uh, already half of what it was in 1990. And they are correct. So even even the, of these police organizations and, and police guilds and police um, unions. Uh, know that the, these numbers are low. So, uh, so anyway, just a, a quick glimpse uh, once again uh, how uh, it's easy to paint a, a world gone mad out there and cops as targets all over the United States. But uh, like I say, uh, last year uh, was perhaps the safest year in history for U.S. police uh, with only uh, 38 deaths. And, and I acknowledge uh, the, these deaths and uh, and I uh, and I hope that the, the, the their lives were not sacrificed. In something trivial, uh, and, uh, and that they were indulging in true uh, uh, crime fighting. But uh, anyway, there you have it. Uh, no war on cops. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too?